last time up the hill, and Marshal Guyon of France has finally cracked after being ahead for over 131 miles. The huge crowd in Japan is enjoying an unusual spectacle. They've never seen a road race of this caliber ever before. And most people throughout the world have never seen two Belgian riders in the lead together. Just six miles to go and the favourites who have ridden side by side all day with hardly an attack between them are being embarrassed by the brave attack from Rudy Donnens and Dirk de Wolf. Just over the final climb, teammates Dirk de Wolf and Rudy Donnens have sailed ahead of everybody. With five miles to the finish, this is a flight of freedom they could never have dreamed of. The Frenchman Guyon is left just behind. The final meeting with Kobashi Hill has separated the field and Le Mans has finally shown his strength by being one of the first to top the peak. But others who seemed strong and ready for battles a few minutes earlier now struggle. The Italian star Gianni Bugno leads the charge down the mountain with Le Mans six places behind. The superstars of cycling have been humbled by indecision, left behind by two unheralded Belgians. Now they can only hope that the pair ahead will wilt during the final miles. Finally, for the first time all day, Le Mans has moved into a front position. The two leaders are still 25 seconds ahead, and the American leads the counterattack. Up ahead, the Belgian fantasy machine is flying. De Wolf and Donnan train together often in formation like this, but never have they had the best dozen pros on their tail and the world championship at stake. Le Mans' assertions bring the lead down to 20 seconds, but as he pauses for a moment's rest, another attack is launched. It will be all out from here to the finish. Dirk DeWolf has been looking back all day, and this time he doesn't like what he sees, a field that is gaining fast. Marshal Guyon of France is still in between the front duo and the chase, but Steve Bauer of Canada is pushing that group forward. Two men, friends, off the front, fleeing to victory, have no time to think about which of them should win. The field is now 15 seconds behind them. Pedro Delgado, the Tour de France winner in 1988, is another who figured the leaders would have been caught long before now, but this has been no ordinary world title race. 500 meters to go now, it's all uphill, and the field is still 15 seconds behind. DeWolf leads Donnens. Greg LeMond realizes his hopes of winning are gone. There's still a chance for third place, but for a man who's done better than that four times before, it's not much of a motivator. In the sprint for the line, Rudy Donnan's in the middle of the road, comes clear of DeWolf. After eight seasons as a professional, this is only his tenth victory. There have been too many near misses. Bugno nips LeMond in the sprint for third, and the American is pushed into fourth place. And what a day for the Belgians. Two great racers and two very good friends. And you can read the story of his race on Greg LeMond's face. And look at the world champion's face. Here is a man who spent his whole career working for other riders to win races. Today, he had a chance. He took it, and I think he's as surprised as everybody else here. And every bit of this is just too much for his mom to take. I can't believe it. I feel good, but if you're going to be a world champion, yeah, you need a lot of luck and uh, you need a good day. And it was so a very hard, ra a very hard race. And but we have a good, 
week with, week with the team here. We train a lot. And I thank the, thank the teammates, and except uh, Tiv the Wolf, he did a great race. And Hat was one of us. But I think he was, uh, his legs were more tired than my legs because he was the whole day in the attack. Back to looking, Tiv is. Most other races.